Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with the Haxorus Spotlight. Finally doing Haxorus in the U tier. Now, Haxorus is an incredible wall breaker just because of its ability, mold breaker, so it doesn't care about unaware mons, as well as its super strong attack, and then it has, you know, good coverage in uh, Dragon, Ground, which is typically what you'll see on a setup set, in Earthquake and Outrage, and then you have Poison Jab to hit those fairies. Unfortunately, because of its speed tier, it's just one point uh, well, base point. One base point slower than Hydreigon, so it's revenge kill by uh, common Scarfers like Hydreigon or Latias. Uh, and also doesn't have the best bulk, but because it does have a uh, dragon typing, at least it can set up on uh, weaker grass type attacks or um, water type attacks, things like that. Uh, so typically a set you'll see these days will be uh, Dragon Dance, Dragonium, Poison Jab, Earthquake. That's mainly the set you'll see. Maybe you'll see a Choice Band set, maybe you'll see a Swords Dance set. So that's a really cool move pull. Well, not really cool mobile, but has the offensive presence uh, of Swords Dance and Dragon Dance to be a really threatening sweeper. Um, but again, that speed tier just, and its average bulk at best, uh, is really just holding it back here. But we have a few teams today. Also, if you guys want to pick up my Drop of Draco socks, they are available for eight more days. Link is down below. It does ship worldwide. Uh, but yeah, we're using this guy's team first. Ayo, is that how you say his name? Or Ayo Louie? I think that's his full name because he actually sent me a... A picture as well for the background, so I thought it was pretty cool. Nice fan art and whatnot. He likes Haxorus, so I uh, definitely wanted to use his team. A um, few other things, what is it? I should be having, if this goes up at 4, then the SPL tiebreaker stuff should be going up at 6. And I want to assume that my team builder stuff for the uh, GBA went up at 2. So just assume that's how it's going to be today. Um, but yeah, get some good games. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about this team. Uh, I see Monetric as a, a definite threat, but at least Haxorus plus Raikou take advantage of it. Um, not really the biggest fan of... Not really the biggest fan of full Fizz Def Glyscore without Roost, but we'll see how that works. And then we have uh, Defog, Scizor without Swords Dance, but more support ones. Help, supposed to help with Lottie and whatnot. Uh, Choice Guard from Furnip and then Specs Prim Arena. A really bulky Specs Prim Arena, too. No Skull. I'm about to be clicking these Hydro Pumps on these Glide Scores and I'm missing a South Plus uh, But hoping for at least a Dragon Dance Haxorus to do a little bit of work. It's going to be a little bit hard, I think, depending on the ver uh, the type of team we get. But we actually get a team that's perfect for Haxorus. Wow. Uh, once I set up, I get a KO. Like, he cannot stop me. Um, and I'm saying that because he has a relatively slow team, I want to say. Kamai Raku is really good in this too. How else do we deal with this squad? I'm gonna lead off with Raikou. Only reason I'm leading off with Raikou is because if he leads off of Volcanion, I'm automatically in the defensive position if I lead off of anything else. Um, and Raikou can kind of Volt Switch versus him as he does have a Celebi. Not the biggest of deals. Uh, unless you're Scarf Earth Power, and even then you won't knock me out. I'll get in Gliscor now. Uh, this does give me the opportunity to get up Rocks, and Rocks gonna be the difference between Haxorus knocking him stuff out and, and whatnot. Um, I don't like that I. I'm not the biggest fan of not having Roost here, but I saw Leftovers on Celebi, so I wasn't fearing him to be able to knock me out or anything like that, uh, as he is going to go out into his glass score. Now, this is a little bit of a problem. I do get a slow U-turn because I'm, I have zero speed investment, so I will be able to go out a nice slow U-turn right here. And what I think I'm going to do is just go right to Haxorus and just click my Dragonium. Uh, honestly, like him him setting up is a big deal. Actually, if I just Dragon Dance up, we're good, because this thing doesn't need a setup to win. Uh, it just needs to literally be there. So I'm going to Dragon Dance up right now uh, because my plus one Z move should Oko everything. I, think I, I really don't care what he brings out. Hactress is going to break through something. And yeah, it gives me his Celebi right now. So I'm going to be able to pretty much pick up a KO right now. And this is going to be really nice because that opens up the door for Raikou. All I need to do is get rid of Gliscor now and then Combine Raikou can win. So uh, literally does not matter what play he makes here. Dragon Dance Hactress is going to pick up a KO. That might have been Fizz Def Celebi too, but that doesn't matter when that's a Z move. Uh, so the scissor comes out. Just gonna click Earthquake as he's fully fizz, uh, fully fizzed up scissor. But again, damage like that, he can't come in on me anymore. Glass can come out if it wants. So I'm just gonna click Outrage, and I do enough to even if he even if he starts roosting on me. Ooh, my base 90 bulk actually helping me out there. That's awesome. Uh, even if he starts roosting on me, basically I would put him in range of HPIs from Raikou. But uh, he goes scissor. That mon is not gonna take this either. Not after the rocks. Look at Haxer just breaking through. Nice. The funny thing is, if his muck doesn't have Shadow Sneak, yep, Haxorus literally just broke through his entire team. I told you, we luckily got a nice matchup where my opponent's team was relatively slow. 
Hey, might as well go for it. Why not? Look at Haxorus. Somebody said I had to get a 6-0 sweep. Ooh, if Haxorus keeps breaking through, I think I just win. Ah, unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. We'll go Gliscor here and click Earthquake. It's funny because if this is Agility, I, can, I might potentially get Reverse Swept. But it got slower by Mega Evolving, so now it's not faster than me. Uh, and then my um, my my close combating Mon Revenge Kill. So I'm really happy that we get the first game where Haxorus puts in a ton of work. I already told you, just based on his team mechanic, um, plus he also sacked his priority Mon. Uh, basically based on his team mechan uh, team mechanics, team composition, that's the proper word. Uh, it's just really, really slow, and Haxorus just has a field day versus that type of stuff. Right, we're going to go Primarina. Just click Psychic. They both have the chance to lower special defense, so I might as well. Oh, it's a Z Bloom Doom. All right, that's cool. I mean, that literally does not matter because I go Raikou and click Thunderbolt. If Thunderbolt doesn't knock you out, close comment from Infernic does. I was just making sure he wasn't like a scarf set or anything because um, I wanted Thunderbolt to be able to knock it out anyway. Good game, dude. Nice. Haxorus put in a ton of work already. Already put in a ton of work. Nice, nice. So now we have a team by Raging Guide. Let's look at it real quick. Nice Drag Mag. So Dragon plus Mag. We have Swords Dance for Yonim Z. So actually, this one would even appreciate that last game even more. Just because of the Swords Dance. Uh, Trick Scarf Mag for Scizor. Uh, we have Banded Pursuit Scizor for Lottie. Klefki with Spikes. Defensive Swamper. And then an Analytic. An Analytic Starmie just to hit hard. So, beautiful. Beautiful first game to start it off. And I'm honestly happy. That's... Like, I don't think we're going to get too many of those this live. I'm not going to lie. Unless we do see a lot of matchups like that relatively slow. Um, even fat matchups don't matter as much because we're using Swords Dance and we have Mold Breaker, so we don't care about that unaware at all. Uh, but, or even any of our opponent's abilities, which is really cool. Um, if we keep seeing more matchups like that, Haxorus might continue to put in work. But I'm just, like I said, I'm happy on a Pokemon Spotlight. You already got the Mon putting in a ridiculous amount of work in Game 1. If it didn't hit itself in Confusion, it 6 0 him. Alright, so we actually see another uh, relatively slow matchup, which is really good for Haxorus. I want to Pursuit Trap that Lottie. Yeah, Haxorus, Swords Dance Haxorus is beautiful in this. I'm going to lead off with it because if he leads off with Florius, I can smack it. Now, he leads Braylon. So this is interesting because I don't actually have a Sleep Fodder. And if he Sash, this is... It's annoying. I honestly just want a poison jab. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna poison jab. Uh, if he sash, uh, I kind of ruin what Haxers can do. But I mean, I can also just kind of bullet punch through him with Scizor, like really, really easily once I get rid of the Seismitoad, which isn't hard with Analytic uh, Starmie plus Toxic on Klefki. And if he's not sash, I'm pretty sure poison jab KOs him because Haxers is really strong. Let's say it's Florgus upon switching. Like, this is a tough one. I wasn't sure. Because Klefki was my other lead of choice, but if he's like a... a... Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll take it. So I can go Klefki right here. I'm assuming this is just going to U-turn. Uh, ops to go for knockoff, which isn't bad. Gives me Stealth Rock. And it, uh, it gives me Spike, excuse me. And it gives me a Toxic off on Seismitoad. I say that because I'm pretty sure he's going to go for Stealth Rock himself. And weakening this thing is really nice for Starmie. Ops to just throw off a Scald immediately. Really cool. I understand that play because what he's trying to do is obviously burn my uh, Swampert coming in. Actually, Toxic doesn't even matter too much because he does have Florius, but at the same time, it's whatever. Get up our rocks right here. Nice. So, I don't think you would sack this because I do have a mag. I'm actually going to double out to Scizor expecting Lottie to want to come out. Exactly. Expecting Lottie to want to come out. And I'm going to Pursuit. Alright, so awesome. So I did exactly what I needed to do for Haxorus to pretty much, one, uh, if he has default, go be on Florgus, but uh, also the big thing is I did exactly what I needed to do for Haxorus to put in work. Everything's in range of Haxorus now. Everything. Everything. That boy can't even fear me. Like, like I said, that was a good opportunity to bring in Lottie, so as opposed to roaring him out, I'd rather get in Scizor and KO Lottie and also make it that, look at Bullet Punch, Bullet Punch, Bullet Punch. Bandit Bullet Punch about to put in work. I also don't need my Klefki anymore at all. So if he goes Braylon and tries to sleep something, I sack that and then I go Starmie and revenge him. 
And with the turns of Stealth Rock and Spike, if Braylon takes a life orbit, Bandit Bullet Punch to knock it out too. And I live an unboosted Mach Punch for sure. Scissor comes out. Just gonna go for U-turn, I'm assuming. I guess he could have Defog on this thing too. This goes for Knock. Go ahead and give me more spikes. I appreciate it. I want them all. I want all of them. All of them. Nice. Might actually be faster than you too. Hey, okay, so Hacks just gets to pick up a KO now. Hack just gets a KO pay. Oh, and basically he's, his team is in bullet punch range. So I went with uh, CV Scissors bullet punch right now. So I click Earthquake. Uh, he has no switch into it. Basically, what I'm saying is he has no switch in that wants to take Earthquake plus another move. That dude was really, really adamant about trying to trap my mag. Right there. Scissor comes out. You Scarf, bro? I mean, I'm gonna go mag now. It's literally here for this Pokemon. Yeah. I wonder if Volt Switch actually KOs you. I don't see a reason not to HP Fire. I just get rid of his priority move. Hactress is going to come in and just pick off Muck. Going to pick off Florgus. Do I need this mod anymore? House of Florgus? Eh, not really. I let him knock me out and then I go Hactress and pick up my KO and KO and KO. Plus, if this thing is gone, uh, Starmie gets to just click buttons. And again, Bullet Punch is the thing that's winning me the game right now. So, click, click Earthquake. If he goes Florgus, Earthquake, and the Poison Jab should knock it out, I want to say. I would Dragon Dance up, but then he's just going to Revenge Kill me with uh, Breloom, which doesn't matter too much. So, but I want to try and get as many KOs with Haxorus as possible, right? Or at least weaken his team to the point where Scissor wins, regardless of what he does. And again, with the Stealth Rock and Spike, even Assault Vest Muck, which I'm positive he is, uh, is in range of any attack from Starmie. So even if he switched out, as long as I hit Hydro Pump, we would be good. Goes Breloom. Does he think I'm choice locked? I want to go for my Z, just because I can. I want to devastate him. There we go. And like I said, Bandit Scizor is going to be able to clean up, unless like unless I crit right now at Poison Jabber. It actually does a lot more than I thought. Oh my god, that does a lot more. I didn't think that did 63 in itself. Good game, dude. Not bad. Another another good matchup for Haxorus. I wonder if we'll get more of those. That'd be amazing. So this next team is by Arctic X. Now, this team is <laughs> just pure setup and going. We have another Swords Dance Haxorus. This time we're Lumberry. Oh, that's pretty cool though, because it actually helps for Braylon lead. So I can actually stay in versus that. Um that dude has a mega Galele. That's really, really cool. And that's a big threat to my team. Though. I will lead Haxorus because we're Lumberry. I'm actually assuming double sash on Needle King and Haxorus. Lee's Lottie. Oh, how'd you know I had no switchings to your Lottie? Aha. Uh -huh. Drake on me. Jesus, the specs. <laughs> Aerodactyl being healthy actually doesn't mean anything, but he doubles out to Scizor, which is like probably the best switch he can make right there. I'll sack Runicless because it's not going to do anything as he just bullet punches. Yeah, the scissors are a problem. <laughs> I'm going to go, just in case he goes Needle King, so I can at least try and get a Brox, and he sewer powers. So, yeah, I don't know how I beat this. Hmm. I really don't know how I beat this. Needle King comes out. Going to double out to Arrow on the uh, hopefully expected Earth Power. And that gives me rocks. Now, rocks is really nice for... Putting everything in range of Venom off, I want to say. Ah, nice. Nice rocks. Then again, probably hitting him with Earth Power would have been smart too, but go for Stone Edge just in case he doesn't opt to BP as he does. Oh, this is Sparrow. I don't got crap for your game, your team, bro. Yo, live this so I can get off a. Please live this Bullet Punch so I can get off a Sleep Powder and actually try and do something. Perfect. I'm Savage spinning out immediately. <laughs> I don't care what you're trying to bring in. I don't switch in well to you anyway. Let me go right for... Ooh! <laughs> when your Z-move isn't resisted, man. Let's see if this Needle King is Scarf. It is Scarf. Sugar Berry. Just Earthquake right here. I can't bother setting up. 
And he has a... Uh, mm, depends, depends. Depends on how your ops to revenge kill me. He should actually go Braylon and nothing else. Uh, Braylon is the best play. Uh, Glalie works too, but Braylon is literally the best play. I think he just wants to get a KO with Glalie though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could have done anything differently in this. Uh... Cause I, I, he's basically making it so Mach Punch wins the game. Unless I dodge hits from Lottie, and even then, I gotta crit close combat if, if I live this. Yeah, so, I, I don't know what I could have done differently. Uh, I didn't have anything for Scissor, which is, you know, my fault, cause it's in UU. Good game. Fight him. Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything differently there. Uh, I had to hope for him to mess up and try and win. That's okay though. Um... That was a matchup as well where like he just had the offensive presence to beat me down. That's his or maybe if it was banded, it would be a little bit easier to deal with. Granted, bullet punch would hit my team incredibly hard. Why is this Haxorus uh thing so fast? I just realized we're only at 16 minutes and I'm up to team number four. You know what? Let me let me let me go back. Then again, it is all well, offense. Let me go back to Arctic X team. Let's see if we can give it a little bit of redemption right now. Just a bit. I don't know if I put I on X in that game. That's Sparrow. I used to watch uh, Moet Ladder versus him and play him in tournaments occasionally. But yeah, I don't think I could have done much differently. I was really impressed though by the fact that obviously Venomoth's uh, tinted lens means that its Z move is not resisted, but I was really impressed by the fact that Ozzy went down immediately. That was really cool. That was super cool. Also, why'd that Draco do 10 million from Lottie? The specs? But must have been specs. Even if I kept Rina close alive, he'd probably just put me to sleep. Just a cool mon. In my opinion. Alright, awesome. A slower matchup. But no Z, so I can't actually break through it. Well, he might actually be just tricking, but. I'm not sure. I'm gonna lead Arrow because it matches up well versus as fast as Pokemon Crobat. Yes. Oh, it's spoof! That's my boy. That is my boy. He's actually really, really, really weak to Kamai Raikou. And super weak to Arena Clist too. I'm gonna double out to Venomoth, expecting him to wanna go out to something like Crobat. I mean Scizor, excuse me. I'm, I'm literally hovering over it. I wanna find out if he's banded too. I don't know what that means. So he's life orb. Okay. So hit the hit the Z. Hit the sleep. Go right for spa uh, savage spin out because I don't care what comes out as he goes crowbat. Uh, either way, with Scizor being asleep, that's amazing for uh, Aqua Redemption. Just in case he wants to defog. Um, but if with Scizor being asleep, that's absolutely amazing for my uh, Haxorus, and it's in range of Earthquake as well. It's good for Sludge Bomb because Sludge Bomb will knock him out. Also, a chance to poison this thing would be pretty cool. Just knocks me out with the hidden power. Huh. But you being there is, again, in range of this Pokemon. How much is Crobat out? Too much. I'll just close combat. Assuming Crobat wants to come out. Um, Arrow with Rocks Up Revenge is Porygon, so he doesn't get a recover. I guess if he doubles out to Porygon, it's a really good play, but that's start giving me Calm Minds or Uniclus. Just goes for a Z. Let's get more rocks first as he opts to Roost. I mean, you're gonna go what? Sweet Coon? I still click Stone Edge. That is some beautiful damage. And we home claws. Uh, Arrow might actually bring it, do it itself. Like he's gonna have to end up sacking something, then go Suicune. That's gonna die, bro. All right, Sylveon's gone, which means I click Outrage. I'm not revenged e easily. Ooh. I just want to do it to go Haxorus. I 
I can beat Crobat. Let me just weaken this thing. Go Haxorus, click Swords Dance, and click Earthquake Outrage repeatedly and win. Look how much that did, by the way. 62%. So I think that's Vincoon. And I don't even have to worry about him. Um, I don't have to worry about him burning at me because I have a Lum. And Crobat wasted its Z move, so it can't knock me out with anything. Up. So Earthquake sweeps through his team now. Earthquake Outrage sweeps through his team. I honestly think Poison Jab will knock him out after his Brave Bird. I'm gonna be honest, but let me let me calc this real quick. I, if I if I can afford to not go for Outrage, I will. Not because I can Earthquake through the rest of his team and win. I'm talking about after his recoil, by the way. Yep. So we can go for Poison Jab here. Uh, Scizor has not burnt a turn because it went for um, because it went for Bullet Punch on the turn that I went for my attack. And yeah, so it has zero turns burnt, so it literally cannot wake up. I click Earthquake, and then I click Outrage versus the next two, and Haxorus wins. Phew! What'd I say, man? A potential matchup for Haxorus right here. Oh, he didn't let me Outrage. That's all right. Nice. So I'm glad I looked for another game with that team. So we have a team by End Snake. Cool, that was fun. A team by End Snake. We have Dragon Dance Dragonia. Going back to the Dragon Dance set with uh, Choice Scarf Latias, um, a Clear Smog, Fizz Def Amongus, really Fizz Def Amongus, but Def Empoleon or Protect Toxic. Uh, we have Knock Off Glyscore, and then we have Mega Manetric. I was wondering when we're going to start using one of these. I, you know, I look at the teams that I put and I, uh, that I pick, and I was like, okay, this has a good chance of letting Hacktress do its work. That's really how I pick my teams. Like on a spotlight, I want to so, I want to show what the Pokemon can do, right? And this happens to be a more offensive one. Ah, oh, man, he has a has a Haxorus. That's a little annoying. Hmm. I know it's Scarf Haxorus too. I'm really glad score because it... Thank you, friend. Because it's shitty to hit from everything. I'm going to eat this. I would for sure eat this HP Ice. And I want to make sure that I have my Toxic Gore activated so I can come in on Among Us and get up my rocks later. I don't want to take 90 million percent and then not do anything. But uh, goes Hydreigon right now. Is this boy Specs? That'd be a little bit better for me if he is. Or he was just fearing the Earthquake. That's Life Orb, okay. Throw off a Scald. Life Orb U-turn, okay. That actually makes it a lot easier because now he's in range of plus one Earthquake. I say that because obviously Mode Breaker does not care about Levitate. So that's awesome. And he gives me a hit off on Manetric. Ooh, I would love to burn you. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, babe. Thank you. No Healing Wish either. Get a little bit more chip off. Uh, I'm definitely going to go Among Us as he goes out to his own. I didn't want to bring in Gliscor on the HP Ice, but he goes Among Us, which is saying something. You're definitely Gastro Acid, huh? You're Gastro Acid. I know you're Gastro Acid. You're not, please, because Gliscor Double is really obvious there. Or I guess, then again, uh, Manetric, so he might not be Gastro Acid. I, I, I'll give it to them if he's not. Uh, but get up a rocks here. Defoggers, this one, this one, this one. Uh, and Polion is literally meant for this, as well as Primarina, but you know, Primarina is soft checked as well by. Uh, Primarina is soft checked by um, Among Us, and also Manetric Card checks it, so. See if we can get off a of Toxic here. Be really nice. I gotta find the opportunity to set up. I think it's gonna have to be on Manetric with my um, Dragon. Come on, buddy. Break through. Don't flinch. And we land the Toxic. Let's go. Sick. That doesn't really matter too much that he goes Manetric. Because I'm obviously I'm going for Protect. But he already took the Stealth Rock. The turns that I needed. Oof. Go ahead and give me my Protect right there. Ooh. That boy has one turn left. I'm going to keep and pull it on live just for... Just because my Scarf Lottie comes in anyway. This looks like he missed right there. I'm going to go Among Us right now. I don't want him getting in Scizor for free. And also Among Us won't die to anything. That was out to Glyscore. So he'll go down uh, to the next attack. 
I get an act I drain on now. I think this is the opportunity. Honestly, I think this is the opportunity, yep. Because his Idragon isn't Scarf. No Intimidate left. Are you going to double out to Primarina, my man? He doesn't double out to Primarina, so this should die. That will definitely die. And, uh... Gliscor, I get to Outrage on. I mean, at this point, Manetric just wins, so... I wonder if he knows how this works. So what he's supposed to do is, um... Let me hit him with Outrage and then double out and then go out to Primarina after, like if he has a U-turn. But either way he's in range. Oh, never mind, it just dies. Okay, so uh, either way, Manetric is gonna have some fun now. So yes, the moon blast me. I'm not gonna go Manetric though, uh, just yet, even though Scarf Primarina is actually not faster than Manetric. I don't want Manetric taking any unnecessary damage. Especially actually, yeah, I'll go Manetric. I just realized I had poisoned the Eye Dragon, so I can't go for Spore. Otherwise, my play was to go out uh, for Spore with Amoongus, but uh, we'll make it evolve with my Monetric right here. Just go right for that Volt Switch as Hydreigon comes out. Mm -hmm. Is there any way I can Just go and pull down and allow him to knock me out. I don't even know if he knocks me out with Dark Pulse at that range. He was doing like 30-something. So even if he flinches me, that's fine. Because he dies to Life Orb plus Poison. And I'm 100% in tor a Torrent. So if it's SD Scizor, I'm going to eat the hit. Uh, I mean, if he tries to SD in front of me, he's got to, he has to play around with this Torrent boosted attack. Uh, do I lose anything if I going for Protect? No, uh, there's no point. I'll let him Moonblast me. Because now I can spore him, unless he's like Shattered Psyche. No, that's just Specs. Then we just click HP Fire on Scizor. Uh, whether he stays in or not, I mean, he'll be in range of my... Uh, he'll be in range of my Thunderbolt anyway, and then I beat Scizor regardless. SD... No, no, no. SD, SD Lumberry won't even win in the game. So, beautiful. Hydreigon, I mean, it's Haxorus, excuse me, I keep calling it that. Hyd <laughs> Haxorus was able to break through because he didn't have a Scarfer. Go Metric, click Flamethrower. Good game, man. Wait. Wait, did I say anything? Oh, I did. Okay, that's it. That's fun. Nice, nice. All right, last game, last game. Oh, this is a really fast live. I really like his team, Mattel's team, Mattel. That's how I think that's how you say his name, but it's a it's literally drag mag. Uh, it's okay. Hold up, let me, let me guys. I love this name by the way for that. Uh, you, you don't have to give me uh, nicknames, bros. Uh, it doesn't love this name by the way because I, I typically don't just show nicknames unless I forget, which I almost did there. But Dragonance Cotton Guard, Facade Altaria, Dragonus Dragonium Z Haxorus. We have Scarf, um, Flygon. Eviolite, Mag. Okay. This will be an interesting one. I wonder if he has Taunt in his arrow. He might. Hey, don't have it though. I want rocks. I know you're Mega Arrow too. Don't have it. I want rocks. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to explode right now. Um, this Mon is a giant threat, so I do not mind... Get off that explosion right there. Okay, so now right here is like the tricky part. I want to pursue so badly because Mega Arrow is still good versus me. Because it outspeeds out Altaria. I'm going to do it. <sighs> and he opted to Roost, which I think was like the play. <laughs> I think it's either switch or attack. On four. So now I'm in a bad position because I made an aggressive play. I definitely have to Ice Shard, unfortunately, even if he switches out right now. I made that play because Arrow is such a big threat to me, switching in-wise and being fast as my Mons. But you know what? It's okay. Hard Magneton. I 
I don't mind him getting up every single hazard because I'm a Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, then Volt Switch and knock him out. So I don't give him the opportunity to set up with the uh, anything. <laughs> Basically, uh, the the Zemon. Also, if Among Us dies, which it should. Uh, wait, what? Why this? Not gonna knock me out. They're saying Drake does not care either. Nah, and I literally get a kill. Uh, basically, if Amoongus dies, uh, please sack Amoongus. I can Dragon Dance up Kai and Gar with my Ataria and win the game. I mean, sacking Gliscor is good too. So he can comes out. Huh. That did not do enough. I just lose to the uh, the monster that is Como. Unless he sacks this. Is Ice Shard possible? I gotta get break through this and then get the ice shard off. Yeah, there's no way I win this now. <gasps> Eviolite Mag, you go! I still can't beat Among Us, can I? Eviolite Mag, you go! Go for close combat, what are you doing? This should live one. That man said side. Why wouldn't you not? Did not have close combat? I guess he didn't want to go down to the ice shard, but I'm bandit, so I would have ice sharded him anyway. Dragon Dance. Like Lance. Don't stand a chance. I'm getting all the way up here with this Altaria. You don't realize I got facade. Okay. Is he gonna protect? Does it really matter? I don't really care. Hey, come on. I did nothing. That shouldn't matter either. I have way too much. All right. There's no way this kills, right? I'm gonna die of Clear Smog, but I'm pretty sure this is stronger than any attack. <gasps> yes! Good game! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> we did it, boys! Yo, all he had to do was click close combat with that Como. I don't know what he was. Did he not have close combat? What did he click? Hold up. He might not have had it, because he went for Iron Head. Devil saying Drake, Iron Head, Iron Head twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess what he don't have to do is not be in range of Ice Shard, but I'm pretty sure he would have been in range of Ice Shard anyway, and he also could have just switched. But anyway, I think this was a successful Haxorus showcase. Haxorus put in work many a time in the Showdown Lab. Of course, if you did, leave a like. Well, if you did enjoy, you can leave a like. Also, feel free to check out my socks, like I said, available for only eight more days. Link is down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.